So I'm Cody Honeycutt, 29 years old. I'm Wesley Kaziah, I'm a husband, the father of four. My name is uh, Steve Largent, and I'm a former NFL football player in the Hall of Fame. Uh, was a member of Congress for uh, almost eight years. There were two people in my life that they were mentors in my life. Uh, one was my grandfather. My mom was divorced when I was six years old. I never really got to know my dad. My stepfather was a chronic alcoholic and not a good example for anybody. I spent a lot of my adult life as a drug addict. Um, heroin, cocaine, alcohol, uh, marijuana, you name it, it was for me. My father was an alcoholic by the time I was 13 years old. I uh, had been introduced to marijuana, which graduated to crack cocaine by the time I was 16. And by the time I was uh, 30 years old, I had reached a 10-year heroin addiction, been arrested 82 times. Uh, but in 2014, um, I was arrested for the last time. Heard the gospel of Jesus Christ, and a man named Jack Kernan came into the jailhouse on a volunteer basis and began to disciple me, to show me what Christianity looked like. It's very difficult for me to grasp the love of the Father uh, from a life with all the circumstances that I went through. But he showed me. He showed me how to pray, showed me how to walk, speak, talk, love, give, share, do, serve. Uh, he duplicated himself in me. I had no friends left, uh, but I had Jack. And he continued to pour into me and to walk this out with me. Uh, Sometimes in some very confrontational ways, he'd tell me things I didn't want to hear, that, but that were necessary. Being discipled by Jack, um, there wasn't a lot of theology in the very beginning. Uh, he treated me like a baby in Christ, and I'm grateful for it, but he then attempted to show me how to mature, started reading God's Word. Got out of jail in 2015. As God tends to do, as he reconciled me to himself, he started to reconcile me to all the damaged relationships. I now have a beautiful wife who loves me very much, who is for me, and I have my children back in my life. I get to disciple my own children and my wife. We get to look at the example of Christ and the work that He has done in our own lives, and we get to share our testimonies with other people. This is the hope that I found uh, from discipleship, but mainly from the Holy Spirit in the way that He does what only He can do. I met a guy named Wesley Kaziah and he began to love me in a way and, and care for me in a way that was peculiar to me. Uh, he, he did things for me and for other people and gave of himself for me and for other people and didn't expect anything in return. And it drew me closer to Him, and that drew me to Christ. And since September 28th of 2018, I have been drug-free, alcohol-free. Um, I'm back home with my wife and uh, have now taken the, the mentorship model that changed my life, and I now get to do that and participate in that with other people, being a mentor. The other guy I think uh, was really a mentor for me was a guy named Scott Manley. And Scott was a young life leader. He just kind of took me under his arm, really shaped my life from the time I was in high school. I, I really don't think you can measure the impact that Scott's had on my life. Um, there's no question in my mind that Scott Manley changed my life in a very dramatic way. I am a product of mentorship. Wesley Kaziah changed my life. If somebody would have showed me what it looked like to be a man of God, I believe my life would have been very different. That's what I think um, so many young people are missing today, is they, they don't have a friend, but they don't have a guy that uh, walks with them and shares uh, stories with them about you know their ex life experiences and things that uh, they can share that are meaningful and are appropriate. If you want to do something that's meaningful, is consider mentoring. Uh, a young person, younger than yourself, uh, and sharing your knowledge and sharing your experiences and uh, sharing your life lessons that you've learned. Those things are really valuable things that you, you have, you own, and it would be sad to see uh, your life go away and not share those with the people that you love or friends that need, need help or need advice. You can become a mentor and change someone's life.